Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Tommy Grimes and I vlog about people, places, and things that I love from the city of brotherly love to the city of angels. First off, I wanna send my best wishes out there to anybody that's been diagnosed with COVID-19. I hope you're getting the treatment that you need and I hope that you come out of this safely. And for everybody else out there that's hunkered down in their homes, I hope that you're being safe. In the Grimes, Cruz, Armella household, we are washing our hands, uh, we are disinfecting surfaces, we are social distancing. My girlfriend Sandra, right behind me, is uh, off of work for a while. So luckily for this video, all I need is the internet to compare my 23andMe and Ancestry DNA health results. Now, when I first took my DNA tests, I actually purchased 23andMe's Ancestry and Health Kit, which currently runs for about $199. At the time, Ancestry didn't have any sort of health option, but they've recently included it as an add-on for a $49 upgrade fee. Uh, you can also get their ethnicity and health kit packaged together if you haven't taken a DNA test yet for $149. It does note that it is not available in New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island, or Guam. First off, let's take a look at 23andMe's health results. It's really easy to access from the homepage on the left hand side of the screen. Right away I get my health highlights that show I am at an increased risk for various conditions. I'm at a slightly increased risk for age-related macular degeneration and Parkinson's disease. And I'm at an increased risk for BRCA1 slash BRCA2 and type 2 diabetes. Side note, the whole reason my DNA journey got started was because my big sister Carrie was diagnosed with breast cancer because of the BRCA1 mutation. It turned out that the specific form of mutation was only found in Ashkenazi Jews. I made an entirely other video uh, just about that and I will put a card up there for you to be able to take a look at it. And if you want to learn more about the search for my father's biological family, I will put a link to that video in the end screen and you can check it out afterwards. Unfortunately, I also have the BRCA1 mutation as does my sister Carrie and my sister Stacy. And I first learned that from taking this 23andMe test. Um, I also have variants that lead to congenital disorder of glycosylation type 1A. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, and Goucher disease type one. This stuff can all be pretty scary, um, so you can click on each condition to find out more. For these two conditions, I only have one variant, and you need to have two or two copies of one variant to have the condition. However, you can pass it on to your children. As I read a little bit more about these diseases and disorders, I feel like I don't really have any of the symptoms, thankfully. 23andMe gives you actionable recommendations to address these conditions and make healthier lifestyle choices. It's pretty cool. Moving on to Ancestry Health. Uh, you can find your health results in the top left corner of the screen under health. You will have to put in your password again. The first time I signed up for this, I had to pay that $49 fee. And then I was asked to list my various relatives and any known conditions that they have. I got my results back a little bit more than two weeks later. The first time I logged in to view those results, I was forced to watch a video of a doctor explaining what BRCA1 is, and that's because they picked up on my BRCA1 mutation. If I click on my results, I can see my cancer risk, my carrier status, my heart and blood health, and wellness reports. The only thing that Ancestry picked up on for me was the BRCA1 mutation. They had it listed as hereditary breast and ovarian cancer syndrome. Uh, they give a really detailed explanation for everything and they even have a physician report that you can download, which is extremely detailed. I think it's uh, intended to be something that you print up and bring into your doctor because I'm pretty sure you need to be a doctor or a geneticist to understand all of it. As for my other reports, I didn't really learn much else. Compared to 23andMe, which also gives you traits and wellness reports, it seems a little bare. Um, now, Ancestry's health service is new, so they could always roll out new tests and features. They do offer a trait service that's an additional upgrade. I'm pretty sure that 23andMe just gives you traits with the basic kit. I made another video where Sandy and I compared our traits results on 23andMe 
and she was just using the basic ethnicity kit. Ancestry does have 23andMe beat on price. It's $149 for Ancestry's ethnicity and health kit versus $199 for 23andMe's. Both services are offered as upgrades if you've already sent in your tests. So my recommendation would be if you're looking to find health results based off of your DNA, I would go with 23andMe. If you're looking for long lost family or you're trying to flesh out your family tree, then I'd go with Ancestry. Um, if you've already done either of the two tests, like I said before, you can just pay for the upgrade fee and both services are pretty solid. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, all those good things. And I'm going to be working on new videos as quickly as I can right now. So remember to hit the notify button to find out when they are online. I'm also still working on videos about the search for my father's biological family. So be on the lookout for those. If you want more videos comparing 23andMe and Ancestry DNA, uh, then you can check out my channel page. I actually have a playlist there about DNA testing, and I also included family tree DNA in some of those comparisons. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all again real soon.